Well, NASCAR makes its debut at Circuit of the Americas this weekend. There are plenty more events, though, to come at COTA throughout the year following a rough, frustrating year of COVID cancellations. COTA Chairman Bobby Epstein joins us this morning to talk about it. Bobby, thanks so much for being with us. Thanks for having me. Uh, such an exciting time, such a different time than uh, right about this time 12 months ago when we were talking kind of at the front end of this pandemic. Now we really are moving toward the other side and the big events, NASCAR and beyond, are coming back. Yeah, they are. It's exciting to see. Uh, it's been a while since we had this many, uh, this much preparation and this many employees and, and to see this activity and, and to have some ticket sales. So it's a it's a welcome change after a pretty long drought. Absolutely. And of course, getting NASCAR here for the first time out at Coda and other events, those will be big, big undertakings anyway. But I would imagine like you just touched on some of just the logistics of keeping everybody safe and getting everything kind of cranked up again might have been even tougher coming out of the pandemic. Well, it was it, the uncertainty was the hardest to know whether you can be able to host a crowd. And I think just a few months ago, we wouldn't have envisioned uh, we would have been hopeful, but I'm not sure we would have been certain that uh, this weekend would happen, at least with the, the crowd that we expect. And so it's been great to see things progress and people get vaccines and, and just to see how rapidly we can come back together and, and reopen our economy and, and, and get together again and still uh, have the option and ability to stay safely distant. I mean, we're, we're an outdoor venue uh, spread over several miles and uh, there's programming throughout, but I think it's, it's something that someone can come to and, and feel very comfortable um, Absolutely. And so we're, we're looking forward to that. And then, of course, we hope uh, things continue to get safer as we move on throughout the year. And it's going to be a busy calendar at Circuit of the Americas. What are some of the other big events coming up? Well, it is. And just last night, uh, we have a pro rugby team that plays in our in our stadium here and, and the Austin Gilgronis. And they had a uh, they're contending for their their league championship. And so we've got uh, the Austin Bolts are open their season next week. So we have uh, we have the sports and, and now we're seeing the music come back and we're announcing some concerts. Uh, expect an incredibly busy concert season, probably picking up really in August and, and running throughout the fall. So the uh, Germania Amphitheater, I think we can we can uh, expect that, that that'll be full. And, and I think this year and even next year, there's been so many bands that haven't been able to go on tour. And so there's just this backlog uh, of what I think will be some exciting exciting concerts. And then uh, we put on Formula One tickets. We put Formula One tickets on sale just uh, just over uh, a week ago and sold out what normally would sell in, in four or five months. We were fortunate to see the demand is there. And, and we sold those tickets in just the first week. And you've got Billy Joel as a headliner one night and this week we're announcing a, a second group that will be uh, an equally huge announcement I think so uh, some great things with sports and, and racing and amusements and, and uh, uh, you can come out and ride the go-kart track the go-kart tracks uh, open Tuesday to Sunday it's a high-speed fun experience and, and anyone can do it uh, so plenty going on. Yeah, this is more like it. I know this is what you envision when you think about a calendar year for Circuit of the Americas. But we, I do want to touch a little bit on 2020 because, you know, again, such a frustrating, such a scary time for so many of us. But you were able to take the complex out there and do some good. Couldn't have the events, couldn't have the fun you might normally want to have, but you were able to do some good for the community. We were. I think we, we really tried to focus on ways that we could use our assets here to help. And, and we, we started that trend with uh, just setting aside jobs for homeless when we had Formula One. You know, we, we, we gear up with thousands of employees over a weekend and we're trying to set some jobs up and, and leave some openings for those who are in need. And then we saw the opportunity uh, again, Mother's Day last year, you know, our economy's in a crisis and, and people were in need. And the food bank continues to this day to still need this, all the support they can get. But we had an actual food drive on the track and race enough to provide 2 million meals to those in need. And so, uh, you know, throughout the year, we looked again in the summer, there were a couple of hurricanes and we were a evacuation point and a sorting point for those fleeing the Gulf. Um, and then and then even more recently, you know, we were vaccine, we, were, we, we made our facility available to do vaccines. They were doing 15,000 vaccines a weekend out here. And, and I think we've really shown that we can be a venue that's an asset to the community. Del Valley High School last year needed a place to socially distance for their uh, high school graduation, and we were able to make our facility available for that. And I think uh, even in this year where there isn't maybe as much need, I think we're having that, that graduation again this year uh, out here, and I, I think it's proven to be something that's 
that we can look at ways we can be an asset to the community. And I hope we're doing that and I hope we'll continue to do that. Yeah, no, that's an amazing place for a graduation, even in even in non-pandemic <laughs> times. That making some memories out there for sure. Uh, doing so much good, like you said, uh, this past year and beyond. And then of course now getting to have some fun and do things the right way out there at Circuit of the Americas with the races and the concerts and all the other good stuff coming back. Bobby Epstein, Chairman of CODA, we appreciate your time. Good luck with NASCAR this weekend and everything uh, throughout 2021. Thank you. Thanks, for Thanks and we hope to see you out here. Absolutely. Thank you very much.